I was born here in the United States. Uh, very early in my life, moved to Israel. Uh, for various circumstances, I had to come back to America where my mother converted to Judaism. And so we went back to Israel a second time after that. And I loose, loosely practiced Judaism as a child. And uh, again, circumstances required that we come back a few years later. Came back to the United States, moved in with my father, uh, started going to a charismatic Christian uh, community with him and was baptized there. So I became a Christian. Uh, as I got into my teens, I pretty much fell away. Moved to New York City and started living a really, really sinful lifestyle there. And I got to the point that I just didn't want to live anymore. But God in His grace um, sent some people to me. One of them gave me a Bible and I decided to read it. Read it cover to cover and probably a little over 30 days and it profoundly changed my life. It wasn't the same ever since. It was kind of that Saul to Paul kind of conversion. And um, came back to Louisiana to be near my father and go to college and uh, started studying the early church. I was going to a Baptist church at that time, but uh, I became convinced of infant baptism because I had a daughter and I knew that I needed to have her baptized. So I became Presbyterian. And as I was Presbyterian, I really dived deep into church history and realized that uh, the church that the Protestants were um, espousing just isn't the one that I'm finding, especially in the early church fathers. They, they were speaking about the Eucharist. They were speaking about Marian doctrines. They were speaking about the papacy and its authority. And I realized that, you know, I'm obviously not getting that with, with the uh, Protestant communion. So I need to be in union with a church that teaches these things so that I'm connected to the apostles and their successors. So I considered Anglicanism a little bit, I considered Eastern Orthodoxy, but I found a lot of problems with those. And so I reluctantly started studying Catholicism. And um, as I studied Catholicism, especially studied the historicity of the papacy and the biblical merit for the papacy, papacy, I realized I needed to become Catholic. Uh, so I joined, uh, started visiting the Catholic Church, went through RCIA, entered the Catholic Church each Easter Vigil of 2012. What's the big deal? You have to love the whole Jesus. Um, the whole Jesus is not only the head, Jesus, but also his body, the church. And if you don't have God, uh, if you don't have the church as your mother, you don't have God as your father, as St. Cyprian said, you have to love the whole Christ. And I'm not saying that, um, you know, Baptists and Presbyterians don't love Christ, but they're loving him imper or imperfectly. It's an incomplete uh, love. And so they need to love his church as well. And that church is, of course, going to be one that's linked uh, from the present day magisterium all the way back to the apostles. You have to be able to trace your continuity. If you if you can't trace your leaders today back to the apostles, you have a church that was made up out of nowhere, essentially. So you have to look for that church. But yeah, the church fathers were huge, huge in my conversion because it just showed me the continuity between what the church is teaching now and uh, the earliest Christians. It showed me the bridge between the apostles the bishops today. Mm -hmm.